Hey, good evening. All right. Hello, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. So found myself with a little bit of extra time tonight and almost all day I've been sitting here looking at this vase and I have got to finish this. <laughs> so my little itchy fingers want to get to work. All right, I was working on another little project Gonna fiddle it around today, so get my workstation set up a little. All right, let me get my paint mixed, and then I'll go through what I need to get done. Okay, let's get that medium out of the way. All right, so I think tonight I'm really going to be using all four of my colors. I did give these a pretty good shape just here a minute ago, but can't hurt to get a little more paint in there. Okay. Let's get this set somewhere. That's really loud, you know. It's really good for mixing paint. Okay. Looking at this piece here as I kind of drop some stuff. Oh, it's my favorite part of this entire piece. I love the way that it came out. I'm so excited that the silver and the zinc have worked out so well together. And initially I was only going to choose one of them. Um, I was only going to go with probably the light silver instead of doing both <laughs> and I'm really glad that I didn't really really glad now all right okay take that out of the way now let me get this start up here start talking too much about what I need to do until I'm done with this and I can actually kind of point to it because I don't really have any good points of reference you know like I need to do this there in the top right hand corner so get this all mixed start with um, one of the first things I don't know what's gonna be first who am I kidding um, I need to get some top dots on these swooshes and make the crowns for them um, I need to make the crowns for these swooshes here I have the flower here then I'm going to go ahead and put another circle on and then I wanted potentially to do maybe two more um, over here. I should see here. Bring this down a little bit. Um, get a couple more in here and then uh, I have, it's barely even noticeable I bet, but I've got this little piece of sticky note that I put here. Um, I just used my compass real quick, drew out a circle the same size as these ones. Um, I drew it out right on the little sticky part of a sticky note, uh, cut that out and then just laid that there. And I'm gonna try to use that to kind of fill in this space just here. Uh, I don't know, maybe I might try to fill in some other stuff underneath here, uh, but I just kind of wanna make sure that this design uh, doesn't look like it's just completely disappeared behind that. So, and then 
um, if I have any other time, I'll take another quick look and see if there's anything else that I want to do to this or if it's going to actually be finished. Um, I, I'm kind of undecided. I feel like maybe there's a few spots that need a little something to kind of tie it together, make things just a smidge more cohesive. I initially did want this design to be a little more abstract, I guess. You know, combining both the standard mandala and kind of these, whatever, whatever they are, um, patterns. And I hope I've done that in, in a way that, that sort of at least makes sense. But we will see as things progress. Okay, <clears throat> let's make sure that I've got everything in front of me here. And everything is nice in view. Okay. Now, let's start. Now over here, did I have these balloon? Hmm. Well, over here they're silver, so they're gonna be zinc silver. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. And let's see where we are and where do I want to be with size. Now the rest of this piece is well dry, has been dry for days. The most recent section here was just the, uh, the silver and the zinc portions. And again, yeah, those are still two days old now. Well, not old, doesn't seem right to say old, um, but they've been sitting for two days, a good 48 hours. They are definitely dry to the touch. I'm not going to have to worry about smudging those or anything. So there's my top dots. And just kind of as a reference, what should I do in here? Probably like a three. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if I want to go that well. I don't really want to go that big. No, I really don't. Not on this side because I don't have as much room here in between. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm stopping and thinking for just a minute because, like I said, on the other side, the crowns that I'm going to be doing here are what I call crowns. Um, the top dot on the swoosh was kind of a light blue, and I decided not to really recreate that light blue. Um, but I don't necessarily want to put a whole bunch of zinc on here. Um, so I'm going to do it, I think, in the silver. And that way I'm just not kind of overloading myself in one particular area with one color. Let's go down to a one. I don't think I'm gonna make a 1.5, yeah. Let's get that loaded up pretty well. And get some walked dots in here.
All right, so there's those. I'm gonna turn it upside down. Flip it over. <clears throat> let's go over here to these ones. Uh, let's do the same there. I think I can get away with a larger dot though. To make sure those aren't going anywhere. The silver is nice and thick, so I don't think we're going to have any issue at all. Okay. You can barely make one there, so let's see. really long one. There. All right. Those look like little pearls. So that part I think is done. I'm gonna go over here to this second. I wanted something here along this edge just to bring it up just a little bit. And I think I might do just some small blue dots because I have silver, silver, silver everywhere and I have white. Um, So let's see. It's like I've got a bone on the top there. Okay, I'm trying that again. small. Nope. Okay. There. Okay. Give it just a little bit of a finish. Yeah, for the fun part. Um, where did I put my white tape? I need the world's smallest piece of tape. Great. I'm going to use my compass that I kind of manufactured here to work with my expo marker. Okay, now I am not the best at doing some of this, so let's try something else. All right, 
let's try that. That's better. <clears throat> okay. Slide my hand in this. In no way did I measure these out when I made it originally. Sorry, my hand is going to be right in your face for a second. Now, I'm sure you can't see that, but I can. So let's go back to the white. And I'm just kind of thinking about how close I want my dots here. Uh, do I want them to be that same size and is this going to fit? Nope. Let's go down to a 2.5. Yeah, that will. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so. My main concern, like I said, was to start here and make sure that the dot would fit. And I think yeah, okay. Kind of just making sure. Just kind of checking myself here. That dot is just sitting like funky, isn't it? It is. Quite look great. Let me move that one. my micro piece of tape off of there that's fine <clears throat> okay let me try that again I know it's not going to end up even because it wasn't even to begin with, uh, but let me use the circle that I have drawn as a kind of a guideline here. Let's see if I can fill this in. Kind of, sort of, evenly. And I suppose at this point it doesn't matter much. But, still.
Something is not happening properly over there. I wonder if there was something on the glass. this right here too. I don't have any rubbing alcohol close. So I'm not gonna go running off to grab some right now. But at least I can kind of scrub that just to make sure there wasn't a little bit of residue or something on there. I was acting like there was water. Now I can just try to go in and fill this in here. Not too bad I didn't have a better plan when I had put this in place. It's all kinds of things that I probably would have done in preparation for it. I think I would have laid that out much better. I'm not sure I'm liking the way this is going either. Even though I know the circle is in the right place because of the compass, Oops. Again, it's acting. I think I'm going to have to make a decision real quick, and I'm not, no, you know what, nope, <laughs> nope, can't get on board with that tonight, it does not look like I had wanted it to, so, alright, so let's get that off of there. The other thing I have to be careful of is right here. So that blue that I just put on. Okay, for the rest. There. So. But this gives me a chance when I get a nice clean section of my cloth. Let me just make sure that there isn't anything here. This is just water, plain old water. All right, and as you can see, I'm actually pushing down pretty well, pretty hard on that. Um, this is not going nowhere. 
Uh, that's because of the medium. Best stuff ever. Seriously. Love it. Okay. So instead of doing that, let's just go back to this pattern. May not be my favorite, but it works. So, um, let's invert the colors, maybe. Let's, let's go bigger, I think. I think this is a six, yeah, that was, that was something like a six. Let's get some white sushis in here. Make sure I have my second tool handy. <laughs> and these ones were random the first time, so they're going to be sort of randomish now. I was, like I said, I was going to, with the row of dots around the outside, I was going to try to make it more of a mandala shape, you know, make it fit more of a pattern. But yeah, obviously that's not going to work. You can't start something free flowing and then decide that it needs to fit in a box. All you're going to get is it squishing out, overflowing. And I always use the same method to do my sushis. It's what's comfortable for me. Especially on glass, I like the way that it moves. make this a little larger dome here. There we go. Okay. These are so easy, so fun, so easy. And I'm just trying to think about the little dots that I have in between. To make sure that I don't put these too close to either side so that I run out of room to do them. Oh, 
I think I just need to find a good way to accent these. Let's go back into the blue with the 1.5 here. And you know what? I didn't even do locked dots, did I? to make sure that what I put my hand on is actually dry. And let's get a little one in here. Move it a little this way. Now, what color do we want it? I think it's going to have to be the blue. Because I want to use the silver and the zinc as accents. So I think we'll do another blue one down here. And I think that one was a seven. This one was a six. So let's maybe do a five. And I'm doing a half with a petal, which means I do a two and a half. And let's do my first somewhere up here. That way I know what spacing to use. Trying to try to make these in a point, uh, you know, like a compass, but I don't just have an uneven number of them. Because even though this is a little freestyle, that would drive me crazy. You're afraid of swooshes or if you're a beginner and you've just never done them before or whatever do these flowers oh my gosh best thing ever these are 
beautifully simple. Nobody cares if they're symmetrical. Excellent, excellent, excellent practice. This is actually how I ended up getting over my fear of them. So I absolutely recommend that much at least. This way. I don't think I'm going to put anything in between them since I have enough up above. But I think I'm just going to top dot the middle here and then each of the swooshes. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But at least that's where it'll start. We'll go from there. Oh, hey, good evening. Just popping in. Hello. All right. This one by far is going to be the wonkiest of them all. Huh? It won't seem that way once we're done. It really won't. I think it'll tie in okay. I'm not happy with that one though. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm gonna switch this one up. This little funky monkey down here. All right. I wanna move it out a little. Try to keep this in view, sorry. Might be just a second. There. Let's get rid of that. Throw that away. Okay. Let's try that one more time. That's better. That's that's much better. All right. Let's get those wiped off. I think I'm going to have to go with the one for the size on that. Let's go with the smallest one first. Ooh, barely. Yeah, that's the only problem. <laughs> Gotta make it fit. There. We'll see how all this ties in. Now, should we remake the light blue? I think we're just gonna go with the silver. I kind of like the light blue on the other side of it, but it's kind of light. I haven't used any of that on this side. There. All right, so there's those guys. They do need to dry just a smidge before I top dot those, but this one's dry. I can do that one. Oops. That one's no problem at all. Uh, so that's going to probably like a two-ish. Okay. And the zinc and the blue look so good together, so. 
I'm just thinking now. Oh boy. If I do zinc here, and I'm gonna have to do the silver. I like the look of the zinc, the dark on the blue, but then that leaves me putting silver, if I'm gonna follow the pattern, um, then it leaves me putting this, this really, really light, almost pearl colored sil silver on my white, and yeah, that's not gonna work. Not a chance. So decision was made for me there. And sink right in the center. It's amazing how the depth tells <laughs> when you put those on. Okay. Those are definitely not drying anywhere close to dry enough to be doing top dots on them. Um, I would have some really funky, funky stuff happening. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so let's rotate this around a little bit. It's not thin enough that if I turn it, it's going to drip, but I do kind of have to keep an eye on it. Um, I want to move over here though. All right. Bane of my existence. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me take a look at this again. Hmm. I originally did that pretty off. <clears throat> All right. Let's move it. Let's move this. Oh, come on. Not sticky. Uh, let's see. Let's pretend for a minute that that's where it was supposed to be. Okay. Ish. Right? Yes. <laughs> no. But close enough. Wow, that's just horrible. I shouldn't have done those at all. Um, before I had done this mandala over here, I started with this one and I had predicted um, when I was planning it out, because I did this one almost completely first and just left off this arm here um, that's one of these petals. I just completely left it off except for this swoosh here which was the base. And then I did all this stuff. And then at some point along the way I came back and said well let's try to recreate the petal. Hmm. Let's try to recreate the petal um, kind of backwards and for whatever silly goofball reason I put these white dots here and they should have been blue um, you can see there's this blue here and then the white and so now I'm like wow is that even fixable anymore um, and the answer is probably no but I think I might end up I think the only way that I'm going to salvage this right now is maybe because this this little pink dot that or this pink wow uh yellow is kind of trying to replace this in my pattern just so that I knew where to go and I think the only thing that I'm going to be able to do here is just put another dot here which would give or take be the next size up Okay. 
Okay. This one is not even going to be a full dot. So I don't even think I'm going to worry about it. And then let's kind of cheat a little. Okay, because I did have these dots here. Let's try to mimic that, at least so that looks relatively cohesive. Uh, let's see. Okay. And let's see if I can get just a micro amount of paint on this side. Might be blocking the way for a second, sorry. Oops. Need a little more paint than that. All right. And then let me take this off. Maybe. Not messing anything up. Okay. All right. That'll work. I mean, it's not. I don't think I. What I'm thinking is, because I have these empty spaces right here on either side of this blue dot, and I've been debating back and forth whether I want to actually try to fill it. No, you know what? I'm not going to try to do that. I think I'm going to be crazy if I try to do that. I think that's just going to be a little too wacko. All right, I'm going to leave that as is. Okay. Now, let's go back over here for a second. This one is drying much faster than that one. These, I don't know. I don't remember what size I used just now. I think that was a two five. So maybe it was a one five. Okay, let me get some zinc on here. The swooshes dry a lot faster than the rest, just because the paint got spread out. All right, I'm going to have to leave the middle, at least I got that part done. Um, I guess the question is, is there anything else that I want to do? to bring this together because otherwise the middle dot there and then this little flower piece is going to be it um let's turn this around and then this whole other section here this way over here completely different um some little aspects tie together some don't I mean, this goes all the way here. 
So there's only this tiny piece that doesn't have anything on it. I think what I might do is just do this part and then I might just sit on it for a while. Um, I can't really think of any anything else that I, I really want to attempt with it. It's kind of nerve wracking, honestly. I feel like I've been working on this for so long that I'm going to do that one stupid thing and I'm going to ruin it for myself. <laughs> I'm not going to be looking at it forever, like, oh my god, you stupid idiot, why'd you do that? Okay. What I'm doing in the meantime, I don't know if this is actually going to work, because I don't have any other paintbrush handy, but somehow this big fat dot here ended up with these blue lines on it, and I don't know where they came from, and I don't know if they don't look like scratches per se, but something happened and I'm a little bit nervous to try to use a super large tool on it again, um, just because I don't want to ruin this beautifully perfect large dot by squishing it out too far. So I'm going to try the brush. edges here. Okay. All right. Now, this is a little ragged brush too. I don't have my good one. I don't know where it went. I just don't have it on my desk right now. I haven't used it in forever. This was just one I was painting some base coat in some small areas with. So it got a little bit raggedy. All right. I don't want any brush strokes in there, but I'm not even sure that this is working to cover up what I needed. So, let me at least let that dry and then I'll go back over it with a, a dotting tool. But at least then I know it's covered. What do I want? Probably like four-ish. And that's far too wet in the center and I need to need to turn it just a little too so I guess all of these are gonna have the zinc on the outside which is fine ties them all together and then I'll just put the silver inside this one I'm a little nervous to say this is finished. So I guess I've been working on this forever. This has been my Monday only project for hmm, nine weeks. To give you an idea, my sessions are usually about an hour. And granted, you know, part of those nine hours, I guess, um, eight and a half, nine hours, you know, not all of that is really, truly painting, you know, some is kind of chatting and, and hanging out and prepping stuff and making decisions and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, but yeah, 
but really to stop and think that, you know, I've been working on this for at least a solid eight hours, like painting eight hours. Um, kind of nervous. <laughs> I don't know if I want it to be done. Um, up here. I put some dots on the edges. And these ones are sanding out a little bit to me. They're a little bit bigger than the ones I did on the other side. So one thing I'm gonna do. So let me take the silver and drop a top dot accent on these. Let's do it towards the center. Particular paints. It's in thick. Move down a size. These other ones. Feels like I need something on this too, but I think if I do that, then I think I am gonna have to do it on the other side too. I don't think I can justify <clears throat> doing it just in one spot. Hey, how's it going? I think they, yeah, I'm glad I decided just to leave them kind of wild instead of putting dots around them. I really want that to dry so I can get it dotted. Like blow on it. Um, so I can turn this. I don't think I can turn it too much. Ugh. Then I'm thumb thumb. Yeah, that's not even being covered. In the back. What in the world happened there? Right, let me go to like a ten. Nervous, but I gotta do it. Okay. Hey, good. I cannot complain. I never get a whole lot of extra time on my hands during the week. So to be able to do some stuff on a Wednesday. Hey. And look at that. Ugh. I hate trying to top dot these these big large ones because they never come out right. But look at that. It worked. Okay. 
I'm going to freeze time for a minute. Um, well, I can do that. And I've got that hanging out. Now this one, because it's so flipping large, I'm not going to be able to move this around. And the dot on the other side is like hanging on real slowly. It's not dripping yet, but it's kind of heavy on that bottom side. So I think it'll stay. I don't think it's going to mess anything up, but I don't think I can do anything else right now. Um, so I guess I'm going to focus my attention on these. Um, I like the idea of a top dot. It's like they're screaming for something, but at the same time, like I like it sort of flat. <laughs> and you know I <laughs> you know I'm never gonna be able to do that ever again now. That was like the best luck right there. Do I have I gotta hmm. let's see. trying to crane my neck around to the other side. Um, there's only four colors sometimes. I wish I had another. If I do zinc, Maybe a nice big one and then taper down, kind of like I did here. So I just don't know if that's going to be overkill. Or if I should just leave these ones blank. I think they would have to, well, they could be zinc or silver. I don't think it would necessarily matter because um, we have some good stuff on either side. But I like the, I like the blue zinc. Um, I like the way that that looks against each other. Let's try it. Let's see. Worst case scenario, I don't like it. You know, change it. Wipe it off.
bad. I'm going to wait until I'm done now. Kind of slipped. Wow, that's tiny. Okay. And you know, I started to do that, um, the off-center stuff, originally, like long time ago, because I had gotten a tip from somebody uh, when I was first starting um, to do that when you're a beginner. Uh, if you're if you don't think that you're going to be good at or <laughs> you can put it in the center you know so if you're kind of afraid of not being able to center it just put it off center um and i just i liked it so i just kept doing it That gives it a whole other look, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. Um, but I put this dot here and there's nothing here. Uh, I need... That's white on that side. Accent dot in there. Um, what's this? Okay, let's tip this and hope that the paint on the other side is dry enough. Before I do this and tip it back over. Okay. Silver. Now, I'm not worried about that silver going anywhere. That's nice thick, that craft some red paint. Holy guacamole. It's thick stuff. And then this, I know this is going to take a minute to dry. You know, let's do that up here too. Why not? It's probably a little bit overkill, but I'm all for it tonight. Uh, what direction do we want to go? Inward? So I think this goes up four. Just upside down. Oh, hello. Didn't pick up anything. Thank you. 
I miss anybody anywhere? I don't think so. I think that's looking really good. Check my dog over here. It's a little heavy on the one side, but we're drying okay. All right. Yeah. So I'm just kind of hanging out for a quick second letting that dry just a smidge more um, because I think I like the way that these came out but that means that I need to do the same on the other side <clears throat> on some of those really long ones um, that are tucked up under here that way it has something to tie all these in <clears throat> And then that's going to be it, really. That'll be like finito. Done. Get it in the oven. Ah. <laughs> that's so cool. All right. Okay. Uh, how far should I stay? That's not going to work. Nope. I'm going to have to do that a little bit later. This, this is starting to hang too far in this side. I don't even want to touch it because it's, it's already starting to dry. Maybe I might just have to take kind of a little bit of a break and then finish those up and do just exactly this and that's it. If I thought it would work, I'd bring my hair dryer in here. <laughs> Just blow dry these. It's two big fat dots. Um, or if I had one of those lights, those like UV lights or whatever they are um, for your acrylic nails. <laughs> that would probably work, right? I started working on my next little project. Um, Got to get them worked out a little better, but um, I've seen a couple of people do this recently, and it might be really fun. So, once I get these base coated. Um, and kind of evened out a little bit because they're only one layer down right now. Oh, the nose like stuck to something there. Um, then these are gonna these are gonna be like my next one. So we'll see how those go. Sneak peek. I gotta work on that because my black, um, my black paint. I had some kind of spare stuff that I had sitting around, and I was gonna use that. And yeah, it's it's not good anymore. So I'm gonna fix that. Okay, let's test this here. Let's see. Want it? Um, how far can I go this way? Not quite far enough. Okay. Well, essentially, I might have to wait. Um, because yeah, that's that's not happening. That's still way, 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 way thick. Um, but you know which you know which ones I'm talking about. The other ones, I'm just gonna do this exact thing with. So, I'm gonna let it dry. Boo hoo. 
I don't think it's gonna dry quick enough for me just to sit here and, and yuck. You know, I haven't decided yet if I wanted to do them with jewelry. My daughter is begging me to. My daughter wants one really badly. Um, she wants me to make her a necklace or a bracelet, which I might. Um, my original thought was to see about um, making a wind chime. Um, making just a little a little miniature wind chime out of them. Um, you can actually buy the sets for the wind chimes, um, the chimes and kind of the um, the discs and the cork or the um, the nylon string for and like eight, eight dollars, eight, eleven dollars, depending on kind of what you want. Um, so that might be fun. That was my initial thought. So I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of washers. Um, <laughs> my husband might be a little miffed if I continue to raid his box, um, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I should be on the next door app asking um, some guys in my neighborhood, like, hey guys, do you have like a bucket full of random washers that you don't want anymore? Because they'll take them off your hand. <laughs> so that's what I did actually with um, some of my glasses. Um, I was looking for glass jars because I had a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted to do. Um, and I just popped up on the next door app and um, I did a searching for post and I actually had this gentleman lovely older gentleman um actually he not only said that hey he had a bunch of stuff um but he offered to deliver it to me um and which he did and it had snowed that day and he got in his pickup and he drove um like 20 minutes uh, to my house and dropped him off all the glasses were wrapped in like bubble wrap um in this beautiful amazon box um didn't charge me anything for it, it was just the, the sweetest coolest thing so I couldn't even paint one of them and give it back to him for, um, you know, for some kind of a thank you. But that was so cool. <laughs> Their wives. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Yes, I agree. Their wives are probably like, yeah, you know what? I know where there's this huge, like, 10-gallon bucket of XYZ stuff, uh, you know, out in my husband's garage. But, yeah, that guy was so cool. That was like I said, and, and it was winter. Um, it had just snowed like for the first time. Um, it was nasty out and, and he still, you know, he still brought them to me, you know, just these free, there were a couple of, um, some wine glasses, um, you know, some whiskey, uh, whiskey glasses. Uh, I don't even know what all, a couple of things. It was really cool. So yeah, next door is a sweet place. To get some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try turning this a little. I can do a couple. I don't even know if you can see that. That's about all I can reach. I think those are about a big set. And what side do I want that? Probably this side. bottles. I love painting stuff like that. All right, I think that's about as much as I can get done. So, and then I'll finish the rest later. I mean, it's gonna take me two whole seconds to do that line um, and then it's gonna be done. I just feel bad because 
I don't necessarily want to do a stream just for like literally those two dots. Um, well, there's probably about 10 dots um, on this side of it that go down uh, to finish this up. But then again, I'm like, mm. I do have, I still have my Monday night schedule. Um, maybe I can just leave it and then, and, and do the actual final last couple of dots uh, during that stream and then start my next project. If that's not going to kill anybody for the anticipation. Can. Yeah. So those ones on that side are going to do just fine. It's just this white. Um, the white is not as thick as the silver and the zinc by far. So yeah, it's, it's gonna slide all over the place. Um, and then that's it. That's exciting. All right. Um, other than that though, other than the, um, these little guys, I don't, I don't really have anything yet else planned. Um, there is a video uh, that I am going to be making from, um, how do I want to put it, um, tool selection, um, sort of spacing issues, kind of things like that. Um, so that's going to be my next project too. So um, I might kind of put a space, a little bit of space between that. Yeah, you know what? That could work too. Yeah. I don't think anybody's going to panic, um, but I feel like I've put so much time into it. It's like doing a puzzle, right? <laughs> it's doing a puzzle and then having someone else step in with the last piece. <laughs> you know, I've been working on this for like nine hours or something. And then to have, you know, I, I don't know. That's, that's how I feel. Um, not as a big deal to anybody else as it is to me, but I will absolutely be excited about it. Um, and maybe I'll just, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll just record it or something. So, um, yeah, but I think I'll wrap this one up. Um, I actually didn't even realize I was about an hour and a half as it is right now. So, but I think we'll all be done. I'll probably, um, Maybe I'll do a short, um, maybe just kind of show this off a little bit because you can't, I don't think a, a picture would do it justice. Um, you kind of can't see all the edges in a good picture. So we'll do that. Um, but otherwise, wow, really, really cool. Really, really, really cool. All right, so I'm gonna kind of, let's see. Let's see here. Let me get this off. Get a can actually see a little bit. Okay. And we'll leave it like that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. And like I said, I don't know that I'll be doing another live stream um, until Monday again, just because I've got some other stuff to get done for my next um, project video. But I appreciate it. It is fantastic. Um, have a great night. We'll see you again next time.